Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Afaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about vapor pressure. What is vapor pressure? And this is, you know, it is a type of collimitic properties. So, loading in vapor pressure or vapor pressure loading is a colligative properties. So, what does it mean? Or why we are studying what is the importance we will discuss today in this video. So, continue with me. And I hope you will learn something from this video. So, let us start. When non-volatile, I am talking about non-volatile. Remember, non-volatile. Remember, non-volatile. Solute is dissolved in solvent. The vapor pressure of solvent is lower. Solvent molecules on the surface, which can escape into vapor, is replaced by solute molecules, have the little vapor pressure. Now, if you go through these two pictures, you will see, how only pure and non-volatile solutes are disturbing the vapor pressure. Now, here, in if you see this picture, here more vapor pressure, now here less vapor pressure. Why? Because you see the number of molecules here more, here less. So, why is vapor pressure loving a colligative property? It only depends on the number of dissolved solute particles. So, if any property dissolve on number uh, depends on number, means that is the colligative properties. Now, for ideal solution of non-electrolytes, vapor pressure of solute follow Rolle's law. Rolle's law. What is Rolle's law? The vapor pressure of a solution P. Pressure. We are talking about the pressure. We are talking about the pressure. Remember pressure. Pressure is important here. Equals the mole fractions of the solvent. Uh, X multiplied by the vapor pressure of the pure solvent, P0. When not is there, that is the pure. So, Pa is equal to Xa, P0A. And Pa0 minus Pa divided by Pa0 is equal to 1 minus Xa is equal to Xa. What does it mean? What does it mean? Did you understand? Are you with me? So, if you consider Pa is equal to vapor pressure of solution, Pa0 is the vapor pressure of pure solvent. Xa mole fraction of solvent and xb mole fraction of solute. So, you can calculate very easily mole fraction of solute. If you know the vapor pressure of solution, vapor pressure of solvent and mole fraction of solute. So, that is relative vapor pressure lovely Pa0 minus Pa divided by P0 is equal to the mole fraction of the solute B, mole fraction of solute B. And this is very important, very important. Mole fraction of B, you can calculate very easily. If you know the mole fraction, uh, A1 minus Xa means that is the mole fraction of B. So, absolute loading of vapor pressure Pa0 minus Pa or del P of the solution is given by Pa0 minus Pa is equal to Xb Pa0. So, del P directly proportional to mole fraction of B. Loading of vapor pressure is proportional to mole fraction of solute. So, mole fraction is important here. Mole fraction is important here. I just remind you this is the relations between pressure and pressure and mole fractions. Now, I will discuss here one problem. You know, uh, this problem uh, will give you uh, some insight uh, about this uh, theory. Calculate the loving vapor pressure and vapor pressure of solutions containing 50 gram dextrose. You know, dextrose is very well known medicine and uh, uh, fluids. So, dextrose, you know, mole molecular weight 180. In 1000 gram um, water, molecular weight 18, the vapor pressure of water is equal to 17.535 mmHg. You know mm, mama ko yaad rakhna, mmHg, mmHg. So, any mole of solvent, solvent 1580 is equal to 55 moles, NB, number of moles of solute is equal to 50 by 180, 0.278 mole. So, mole fraction of dextrose, uh, chi B is equal to NB divided by NA plus NB, 0.278 divided by 55.5 plus 0.278 is equal to 0.0049. So, vapor pressure loading is equal to Pa0 minus Pa is equal to Xb Pa0. So, you have calculated here 0.00498 into 17.535 is equal to 0.0873 mm. This is the mm pressure. Now, vapor pressure of solutions Pa, you know, you just uh, this portion, you just subtract it, you will get the vapor pressure of solution. And this is very important problem. 
If you understand this problem, then it will be easy for you to understand and eh? class 12 uh, solution chapter. Now from here, I will discuss in our next video. So if you like this video, then subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. I would suggest you can share it in your friend circle and you in your uh, family also, yeah, especially if you have friends who have not access such type of educational channel, then you can send this link so that your friend also benefited with this types of video. So I hope this video will be beneficial for you. Thanks for watching.